Hello you gorgeous donuts. Today we are going to be ranking the most iconic British memes and I'm joined by the lovely George Memeless. Yes, my name is George Memeless cuz I am I love memes. It's his government name. I love memes. He loves memes so much. So George, we're going to decide if each of these memes are in the Hall of Fame or if they're just cast into the abyss. We're going to rank them if they're boom or doom. This man is so up for this video. He loves memes. Tomorrow Tomorrow. 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 Do you say it tomorrow? tomorrow? I do. This this genuinely, like for the audience, this is probably like watching one of our collabs. Oh, I think the guy in the video is dead. What? Look at the comments. Oh, shit. Rest in peace, Brad. This was Rest fucking in peace, Brad. This was iconic. Well, it's kind of shit if we don't put him in the iconic category now. It's kind of dark. I put him in doom. <laughs> That's not a boom, it's a doom! Are you familiar with the reference or am I just barking up the wrong tree here? Oh, you're like barking so loud up the wrong tree? Yeah, no, don't worry. Wait, it's, can it's you explain it quickly? It's, it's a Costco guys reference. Look, oh. look up, go and look in the search bar. Uh, Costco guys. <laughs> Is this it? Yeah, well, yeah, look at the top left, top left. No, not that one, not that one. <laughs> Ignore that one. <laughs> go up to, uh, scroll up, scroll up. George, what are you showing this? That's what we do. So you're telling me you've never heard of the Rizzler? Why are you like saying that to me as if I'm the idiot? No, I don't. That's genuinely surprising that you haven't heard of the Rizzler. By the way, the pipeline from finding out, unfortunately, this man has passed away to the Rizzler is unbelievable. We're at Costco with our good friend Dylan Eats. And this is Doom or Doom. And today, Dylan has to decide between the chicken bake or the double chunk chocolate cookie. This is going to be a hard one, guys. So basically, I... if it's bad, it's Doom. And if it's good, it's... Yes, exactly. Mm. exactly. Yeah, this is a very long way of just... <laughs> <laughs> this is probably like a three-minute segment of just explaining what this is. Tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Butter. Butter. I say it like that. Butter. 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 That's because you're northern. Listen, I'm not northern. I say butter. butter. That's how I pronounce it. Butter. That's butter. It. Again. Butter. Butter. Very good. Thank you very much indeed. Standard My favourite part of this meme is how he just walks away. <laughs> yeah, backwards. Green. I just, what? So he doesn't like hit him in the back of the head or something. <laughs> it's like he's in like the showers in prison. Just making <laughs> sure nobody does anything in his rear end. Is that an iconic Hall of Fame British meme? Or is it the abyss, George? What was it? I don't think it's iconic. I'm going to be real. Yeah, I'm going to agree. I'm going to agree. I know we've kind of got, you know, the kind of the sad story of him passing away, but that doesn't tip it over the edge, does it? Eight o'clock in the morning, I'll have fish and a rice cake. <laughs> At 10 o'clock, I'll have Have you have seen this guy trying to sell, like, rice cake? 12 o'clock. Yeah, have... did you see he was on first dates? If you have seen this meme, right? This guy is, like, tr like trying to be an influencer now. Yeah, yeah, I said he's trying to sell rice cakes and shit. My God, what is this? That's him. So I bought your present. So... When I was 16, That's him now. Um, I was on a bodybuilding documentary and there was a clip where I say 8 o'clock in the morning I'll have fish and a rice cake and then I'll have some more fish and a rice cake and then I come across really thick. She looks so it. intrigued. When no one has ever yeah. looked as intrigued. It's like he's telling the most interesting story ever. Has he <laughs> no. hypnotised her? Has he put, has he, is, he, is he doing some like black magic on her to get her to look this interested? Would that like, would, you, would that flirt and work on you? If, if, like, you found out that you was the fish and the rice cake guy, would that kind of intrigue you a little bit? What, would the fish and the rice cake guy intrigue me? Yeah. Yes. I can't believe he's selling his own rice cakes. Yeah. Um, they're protein rice cakes as well, of yeah. course they are. I don't think you should put a picture of yourself on it from for, like, a meme that's, like, a decade old. I think 3,000 likes on this video, and me and George will try these in my next collab. Right, are we saying this is an iconic meme? I think yeah, it I, is. I put it in iconic. It is. I, it is iconic. Yeah. I, th I think an iconic meme is like if you can rewatch it and it's still funny. Also, he's apparently 16 in this. Is he? He's supposed. I think he's 16 in this. Where the f was these paper around Chernobyl? <laughs> <laughs> so this one is of George. We've got next. Who are you waiting for? Oh yeah, right. my friend. Listen, we know you're here to see an 11 year old girl. She said she was 12. Joseph, we've got the screenshots where it shows that you've been sending her pictures of your toes. 
Again. Joseph, Joseph, come here, can I ask you, is this a skit? Is yes, it... of course, it can, yes, it's a skit. All he right, went, that... no, that was he a... went, she says she was 12. That was a test, well done, you passed. No, I genuinely did not know that. I, I thought that was real, because I always wondered why that he justified it by saying she was 12, because I was like, well, that doesn't make it any better. So the girl by the camera's oh, like, you were sending pictures of your toes. <laughs> like, it's a skit, Cam. How did you not know this was a skit? I'm actually not joking. I, I genuinely thought this was real. I haven't watched this for, like, years. To be fair, it is a, it is a brave decision to pretend to be a nonce for a sketch, you know? You get people like Cam who actually think you're a nonce. <laughs> I always think this, you know when you get a, like an acting gig as like a file, why are you taking that? Because it's so hard to get recast into you, something else. Because yeah, it's like, you know the guy from that Black Mirror episode? Yeah. The, um... He's ended up playing like freak roles, like in like, um, uh, what's the, the, the end of the f***ing world. He yes. plays just like an absolute cretin. Yeah, you get like, like boxed in to like no roles. <laughs> It's not the best niche to be in. And then you're like, when you're out in public, people are like, oh my God, it's you. You're the p The one that Black touches Europe. kids. Love your work. Don't really. Would you, I think this is an iconic meme, surely. I don't think it's, so. I think really? it's too new to be iconic. I think, and also oh. it's, I think that the sound is perhaps iconic of him going, she says she was 12, but <laughs> the actual video, no. Okay, fair enough. I'll go with you as well. Now yeah, that I found it... out that it's fake, it kind of took the kind of gloss over it. I, I, I used to love this. Now I'm kind of here. Anna. It wasn't even... Cam, it's not like you've been hoodwinked here. It's very obviously no, fake. No, George, I've had the wool pulled over my eyes today. You can't say a word. Nothing. Wait, oh, have, this. Have you seen this? Is it the one where, like, she pretends someone's died in Big Brother or so, something? So she was going out with David Bowie and she's told that David Bowie's died. So she tells oh. everyone, oh, David's dead. But there's a David who's in the house. Oh, she's told. Oh, I thought it was. No, a, it's I not. always thought this was like a prank. No, it's actual <laughs> real. David's dead. No, it's not. <laughs> you can't. You can't. You can't do that. <laughs> Are you serious? Sit down. Super is not cool for not specifying. Sit down. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Just happened now. But like, I'm sorry, George, right? If you had, like, an ex-girlfriend and you said to me, oh, like, I don't know, Linda's dead, I'd be like, well, uh, like, it's... How old, how old, how old, how old do, you, do you think my dating pool is, Cam? <laughs> Linda? Hey, Linda's a very, can be a very sexy name. Thank you very much. Cancer. And you gotta please stay calm. My gosh, I feel sick. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't keep this a secret. Oh, great. I can't keep it a secret. She told me not to tell anybody. What's up? What's happening now? What's the matter, babe? Oh, great. What's the matter, babe? What? She what? She the fuck, it's real? David is dead. She's, yes. David? David? Yes. She what said he just about? died, and I can't f hold this in by myself. No. Where's David? Where's David? He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. What the f is she saying? So David's just asleep in the bed. Angie's just said that David's just died. Sit down. Come and see him. It's so funny because at this moment they all probably think she's just being like really spiteful. That is so. Chill, chill. No, no, no. What did I do? He told her that David was dead with cancer. Yes, he is. He's in there asleep. David. My ex-husband. Like, that's such, main, <laughs> that's such main character energy that you just expect people to just... Oh, yeah, I was talking about my ex-husband, David. Oh, my... Mate, that has to go in iconic. That is, like... That is, that is iconic. That is, that is very iconic. Yeah, fantastic. Also, I, I lo <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah, he died of cancer, but they were in the house together. Surely they'd... They'd they know if... Yeah, like, that would have been quite a shock. Have you seen that series of Big Brother? Like, you, we will never get reality TV like that ever again. That was, like, when people who went on reality TV shows didn't care about getting cancelled. Dog, my cat. you done nothing about it. What did you say? My cat's traumatised. <laughs> said... Wait, what was this Sorry. about? I think we're going to find out. I can't remember, but I just remember Billy. this being everywhere. That's not what you said. You what? burst out laughing. My cat's now on medication for anxiety and depression. That's not funny. What else How'd you diagnose depression in a cat? How have you been feeling today, Whiskers? How are you, how are you doing? <laughs> just spending have you, a... Are you having any dark thoughts? <laughs> Whiskers. He's just spending an hour in the shower with it locked. You know, just sitting down. Oh my lord. Yeah, I don't actually understand. Maybe he just answered the questions that kind of qualified it yeah. to be depressed. An actual heartfelt apology. I'm really, really sorry, Nikki. I'm really, really, really sorry. Imagine going to court. Why are you laughing? <laughs> 
you want a funny shirt to use? You just no, to be apologising. I'm not. There's not any point in you trying to apologise, Sandra, because it's, it's no heartfelt. You're only apologising because you've been asked to. That's what your face fell out, sat and tittering. George, realistically, how are you reacting if, like, I don't know what happened. What did she do to this cat? I, I can't remember. I don't even think I ever knew. I, I think I just always had this out of context. It's just the fact that the cat got diagnosed with anxiety and depression. And it's like, have you ever seen that? It. it gives me the same vibe. Have you ever seen that, like, um, Snapchat video of the, the guy from Liverpool going, Hey, can you stop saying fireworks off outside me house? It's scaring me, lizard. <laughs> Have you ever yes. seen that? Yes. It's just it's the same vibes as that. Oh my god, we should have had that one in this video. I don't think that this is an iconic British video. I just think it's funny. Mm, what do you think? I, I guess it's the first time you've seen this, is it? No, it is an icon. I don't think it's iconic, yeah. but it's it's funny. It is funny. Just quickly, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you press the subscribe button so you can join the Donut family. You'll have loads of videos to binge watch when you're bored, so just press subscribe. That is something all men fantasize about. <laughs> You'll answer this one. Other men. Did you say other men? Other men. Other men. <laughs> other men. <laughs> did, you, did, you, did you boys hear that? Do you understand the question? What? What I fantasize? Yeah, yeah. What? What men fantasize about? Yeah, yeah. Other men. <laughs> <laughs> Make me look weird. Amputees, man. <laughs> I've never seen that video before in my life, so oh, that is not iconic. I, it's just the amputees comment. I've never seen this in my life. George, this has nearly a million likes on TikTok. It doesn't make it iconic. I could post a video of my willy and it would get a million likes on TikTok. Very confident. Not particularly difficult to get a million likes on TikTok, Cam. Anyone could do it. If you posted the the fish and rice cakes man on TikTok today, it would get six million likes. If I repost that video, we'll, we'll put that to the test. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants it? Who wants it? <laughs> That's such an ick. Who wants it? I'll have some. <laughs> Just the way he cuts off before he angrily turns around. Why would you, like, in the first place, where would you ever be in a scenario where you're just walking down the street shouting, Who wants it? And you want to give it to someone. Yeah, to be fair, she just got that testosterone in you, that roid rage. Yeah. I, it's not iconic, though. That's me, actually, after I watch uh, the Hawk Tour podcast. I'm just so filled with testosterone. I just go out in the street and just yell that. If anything, it calms me down. What, the Hawk Tour podcast? Me, yeah, it makes yeah. me feel more, like, you know, stoic and able to control my feelings. I don't, <laughs> you know, lash out. I don't... You know, get angry. I just sort of meditate. It's free therapy. Do you think that's iconic then, him shouting that? I think... No. What? You're such a harsh critic. I'm just saying, it's, it, you have to... It, we can't call everything iconic, otherwise yeah. nothing's iconic. Oh, okay, someone put that on a t-shirt. Surely this Ooh. one. Surely. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is... Sorry. <laughs> you, mate. Sorry. <laughs> you. <laughs> what the f*** are you doing? <laughs> so I crashed. What do you mean you crash? I just hit my head. Sorry. I've seen this so no, many times. No, I'll call the police. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Don't I'm go not, anywhere. I'm not. The thing is, he's, he's definitely in the right. Don't go anywhere. Like, he just <laughs> crashed into him while he was under don't a car. <laughs> okay. Look, I'm getting off. It's a bit easy. You've got to kind of praise the aim from the cyclist. Like, he could have landed yeah. anywhere. And he landed straight up his backside. Uh, did you know that this guy had, like, a boohoo line and everything after this? Yeah, he had a song, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, it's all love, and now you're talking crud. Now you're talking crud. Unpopular comment, which kind of takes a little bit of the gloss out of how iconic this meme is. I don't like it when a meme is so good, and then they try and get as much yeah. money out of it. Yeah, it is. I feel like they should just let the meme breathe. Let it be what yeah, it, it is. Should, yeah. It should, yeah. And what whatever you... comes of it, comes of it. You shouldn't... I don't... I don't know. It, it was clearly a smart business decision, but it did kill the joke. I know. I'm still going to say this is iconic, because every time I watch yeah. it, I laugh. If someone says something, something horrible to you, yeah. what, what, what do you think? Say hello. You say hello? Yeah. If someone says something horrible to Harvey, what does Harvey say? Hello, you... Uh, oh, Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's a little harsh, Harvey. Christ. No, it's, that's iconic. That's iconic. <laughs> yeah. That, to be fair, he's right. Someone says hor something horrible to you. <laughs> no, you look. We love Harvey Price. Every time I see an outstretched finger, I have to bendy wendy. British kids TV is. Weird, in it. Like it just is. I remember, like this sort of stuff, like the Devil Finger. What show was it even on? Oh, it was Devil on that Finger. one about the guy in the 
castle, wasn't it? Why were we raised on TV shows like this? Can you remember Balls of Steel? Yes, I love Balls of Steel. Yeah, that was iconic as well. We're quite couldn't, old, aren't we? Couldn't happen stay in this woke society, though. That was when Britain was Britain. I think Bendy Wendy's iconic just because, like, oh, but then is it? I don't know if it's funny, but is it? Mm. I think I don't know if it's a meme. I think it's too yeah. old, really, to be a meme. It's yeah. not an iconic meme. It's, it's an iconic moment in a TV show when Bendy Wendy met Dev Devil Finger. <laughs> this will be spoken about in generations yeah. to come. I actually use these techniques in the bedroom, George, and I'm telling you, they work. I mean, Hobbs are rarely ever like this, but you normally get at least one of the characters in this video in the top. <laughs> like just an old geezer hobbling along, not really knowing where he is. <laughs> just the like crackhead. The local crackhead stomping about. <laughs> just a dwarf with long hair. <laughs> the fact that that wasn't planned, or I don't think it was planned, please don't tell me that that was fake as well. I don't think it, I, I, it would ruin my day if that was planned. <sighs> Phew. Yeah, that's got to be iconic. That's in there. I quote this at least once every four months. This one. Oh, we all like a bad boy though, don't we? <laughs> yeah, not a f terrorist like Chris. <laughs> there's a bad boy and then there's evil. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like Hitler? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I d still don't know what they're like reacting to here. Are they reacting to like Jihadi John beheading video or something? Like what? What are they what? reacting to? Here? What? And that turned that guy on. What would it be like going out with like you know someone that partakes in that kind of activity? It depends if they do it full time and how much terror they're actually inflicting. Yeah. Like if hmm. they're robbing Lucasades from a Londis on a weekly basis, that could be seen as terror. But I can kind of deal with that as long as it's just on like the weekend. But if they're like crashing into buildings, then that's. Just I don't think that's terrorism, like... Cam. Is it not? I don't think robbing Lucasade is terrorism. Well, that's not what it's, terrorism is. It's kind of up for debate, really, isn't it? That would. It's cause... really not. <laughs> <laughs> robbing a corner shop is not terrorism. So what, mate? What's the name of this road? You can't park there, sir. I know I can't park. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can't pop. Yeah, that's iconic. That's a good one. That is definitely iconic. I feel like that's a joke you'd say. Like, when you're a dad in a car, I feel like you would stop and say that as someone. I don't have the confidence to look someone in the eye and go, you can't park there. It's like <laughs> half over. It's so brutal. Yeah, hi, Gary. Um, I've just seen your uh, advert in the uh, news agent's window. Yeah, um, there's no need for an accountant. Uh, the answer is minus five thousand pounds. I love that video. I can't actually remember how that video ended, but like every single time I watch it, that is f***ing hilarious. But I don't know if it's quite iconic. I think it's just a little like. Yeah, I don't think it's iconic. I think it's. I think it's funny, but it's not iconic. Yeah. I like that we're being tough, because we could just have the Hall of Fame have all of them in, we but could, we're not. We're not, because Iconic needs to have meaning behind it. Exactly, we treat this serious. I can I just say, you've got great hair. <laughs> we were talking about it outside, outside <laughs> were we? I said, where is that? You know? yeah. <laughs> That's what I added to that. Looks great. Well, you've got great hair too. Yeah, I see you. Oh, look at that. There you go. That, that very rarely happens. happens. That Ever. very rarely happens. Would you, Come would on, would you like happens. a rim? Would you what? Would you like a rim? I thought you said a rim. <laughs> uh, the time <laughs> now, we're coming up to nine o'clock. See, I think that's iconic, but is it a meme, really? I don't think so. I think no. it's very, it's a very funny TV moment. Yeah. Not, not an iconic meme. Yeah, I don't think it qualifies for the meme thing. I think that's all for this video, George. Unless we've got a couple... No, we've just got the boom ones. We bring the boom! Boom goes in iconic. <laughs> No, it's not British. It was funny. We bring the boom. <laughs> That's what we do. That's we gonna bring be in my boom. head for like the rest of the day. Now I hope you know that. Yeah, we're good. I'm glad. If you would like us to make this a series, like Hall of Fame TikToks, let us know in the comments. Three thousand likes, and we will do that. Go and check out George's channel, and if you want to watch another video from me, click this video right here. Cam Kirkham, baby. <laughs>